everyone and welcome, it's MJ. Today on this video, I'm going to present a few yoga poses that are very, very helpful in stretching your calf muscle, your Achilles tendon, and the soles of your feet. It is particularly great to do these string of poses if you're suffering from plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia are these thick uh, tissues that run and connect your heel bone to your toes. And sometimes they become inflamed and when they do, it's not only painful, but it can really inhibit activities. So let's get right to it. The first pose is going to be your mountain pose. So you'll come to the top of your mat. You're gonna gently externally rotate the thigh bones, root the tailbone down, lengthen through the side body, externally rotate the shoulders so the clavicles or your collarbones really become wide. Release the arms down along sides of the body and spread the fingers wide, spread your toes out. As you inhale, raise the arms overhead for an upward salute or Urdhva Hastasana. Take a few breaths here. And then exhale, release it down. This simple action with your upward salute, as you root down to rise the arms up, you're going to stretch out the entire sole of your foot. Fantastic for that plantar fascia. The next pose from here, you can move into the high crescent lunge. So you can step the right leg all the way back, coming back onto the ball of that right foot. As you inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Take a few breaths. Notice here that I'm on the ball of the back foot, so I'm completely stretching the entire sole of that foot. As you inhale, step right foot to join the left, present yourself back into your mountain pose, Tadasana. As you take the next breath, go ahead and step the left leg all the way back and inhale your arms up overhead. Once again, on the ball of that back foot, you're going to stretch the entire sole of your foot. As you inhale, step forward, present back to your mountain pose here. The next asana or pose you can take is chair pose, Utkatasana. So the heels are slightly separated in this pose and the big toes can join and connect. As you inhale, bend the knees deeply and float the arms up overhead. Your gaze can rise or you can level out the chin parallel to the earth and your gaze can be towards the horizon. So in this pose, taking a few breaths here, you're going to stretch out the Achilles, the soles of the feet and your calves. Exhale, release, thigh bones go back, find your way back into your mountain pose. The next pose you can take is prayer squat or malasana. So you can widen your feet beyond the distance of your shoulders and your hips. The heels go in, toes float out. As you exhale, bend through the knees, lowering the hips down. Now, you do have an option to sit on a block here as well. So that is available to you if it's too difficult for you to come all the way down. Sometimes you do not have the flexibility in the Achilles tendon. So your heels may be off the earth. And so that's when a blanket or a roll towel is very effective where you can place it under the heels of your feet and then you can stay in this pose. So once again, we're getting a nice stretch to the sole of the feet, the Achilles tendon here. And make sure you use isometrics here where the elbow and the inner thighs are working against one another so you can uh, begin to open up through the collarbones here, all right? A few breaths here and then hands go down, hips rebound up, thigh bones move back and you can bring your feet together and bow in in your forward fold. I'm just gonna turn around here. In the next pose, you can step right back into your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana pose. So in this pose, it really opens up the entire back fascial chain of the body. So not only will the uh, spine become longer, side body longer, but you're also gonna find that the hamstrings, 
behind the knees, the calves, the Achilles tendons, and the soles of your feet will stretch out here. Now, if you need to soften the knees, you can, that's fine. If you find that your heels have a tough time going down, just think with each in breath to lift those hips up a little higher and the heels will begin to descend down. If you still find there's no way they're going down, once again, you can use the support of a rolled towel or a block or even uh, the edge of a wall, the molding, where you can go ahead and set your heels. It's just simply bringing the earth up a little higher, okay? So that's a fantastic pose. Take a few breaths there and then release. Coming down onto your knees, you're gonna sit on your heels, but I want you to tuck your toes under when you sit back on the heels. So we're coming into Thunderbolt pose. And albeit this pose doesn't look like we're doing much, when you tuck the toes under, let me tell you, there's a lot happening. Virasana here. So you're getting this complete stretch through the sole of the foot, which is great for that plantar fascia tissue to really begin to stretch it out. If you can work your way up to three minute hold here, which trust me, it's not easy. It'll really do a lot of work in stretching through the sole of your feet. If you get up to that three minute mark, even two minutes, even one minute, I suggest that you come into a tabletop and then shake out the tops of your feet to just kind of rebound the energy there. Beautiful. So the next pose then is you sit back, lean to the left in this case for me, and you're gonna bring your legs around. You're gonna come into Paschimottanasana pose or seated forward fold. The first thing I'd like you to do is release any fleshy part beneath the sitting bone. The second thing, you do have an option once again to take your blanket and place it underneath those sit bones and that's just gonna elevate the hips a little bit in terms of giving a nice, uh, easy forward tilt to the pelvic. So that is an option for you and it's very helpful when you begin to bring the upper body forward. So here we're gonna inhale, lengthen everything up. On the exhalation, you're hinging from the hip, very long spine, leading with the chest, bringing and extending the heart forward with your hands. Your feet are in dorsiflexion or toes smiling up at your face. Hold on to the edges of your feet, hug the belly to your back spine, Uriyata Bandha, let the tailbone flip up behind you and bow in. So holding this pose for several breaths. If you're very tight in hamstrings, you can soften the knees. Once again, you can take that roll blanket under the knees. Here you are stretching out the calves, the Achilles, and the soles of your feet. Good. As you inhale, rise up. The last pose to finish with, which is so nice and comfortable, you're gonna roll down onto your back body and you're gonna float those legs straight up. Faripa Karani legs up a wall. Arms can be along your sides, can be T, can be cactus arms. All good. And you can hang here as long as you like. What's great about this pose, you're taking any pressure off the bottom of your feet. Relax, come back up. So any inversion where the feet have no pressure on them, works very well too as a, as a way to rest the soles of the feet or that plantar fascia tissue. All right, everyone, I hope this helps. Have fun with it. I'll see you next time. Namaste.